The second part of our mental health series, we have with us today, uh, Captain Dina Alley and um, engineer Dylan Briggs with the North Carolina Peer Support. And we wanna spend just a couple of minutes now talking about preventative measures and coping skills for this. Dylan, you wanna lead into this? So uh, in the fire service, we've learned that positive coping skills um, are really important for us to help process traumas um, mm -hmm. that we experience within our personal and professional lives and also to help us deregulate our mind and connect our mind back to our body. Uh, and these practices can be um, guided meditations through apps, uh, physical fitness that can relate back to your mental health as well. Um, and we, we, when we like to teach people this and talk about these mindfulness practices, um, it's important to, for people to know to not be intimidated by them. Okay. Um, completely honest, you know, a couple of years ago, I didn't know what mindfulness was at all. I, I had to learn. Um, Dean actually introduced me to the term. Um, and, you know, where I first experienced mindfulness was through guided meditation apps. Um, so these are, these are apps that you can get on your iPhone, uh, smartphone, whatnot. And uh, they walk you through a guided meditation, a couple or a headspace and calm. And there's a couple more out there. And um, what I've learned through these apps is, you know, especially deregulating after long shifts uh, or after calls or even stresses that you experience in your personal life, um, using these as practices, you know, they help you connect your mind back to your body and help you be more aware of those thoughts that you have and help you process the thoughts. So real briefly, if you could just in a few words summarize mindfulness, because Kind of like you explained a while ago, I'm not really sure I have the best grasp of what mindfulness really is. Um, so when I think of like an easy definition of mindfulness, it's truly that space between stimulus and response. Um, and like Dylan said, it's more just of an awareness. And mm -hmm. it's amazing how we stay so busy in our lives that we forget to just feel what we're feeling. Mm -hmm. When I first started practicing mindfulness, I mean, the basic tenet of it is breathing. Um, feeling your chest expand uh, and it goes on it talks about you know feeling your feet on the ground you know the, you know the back against the chair and I realized wow I've never thought about you know just being and just feeling and I thought I was terrible at it and I'll let Dylan talk about his <laughs> analogy about being terrible at it but um, I thought I was terrible at it because the whole time thoughts of earlier would come up thoughts of what I need to do would come up uh, and I was like man why can't I just relax and focus. But what I realized is the skill that I was learning was when those thoughts came, acknowledge them and make a commitment to focus on them later. But for now, I'm focusing on the self. And in that, you learn to control those thoughts um, and control your response. Wow. Yeah. I think I have a much clearer understanding of yeah, mindfulness awesome. now. Thank you. And when we talk about mindfulness through mm -hmm. meditation, you know, that like Dina said, the analogy I like to use is, you know, at first I was intimidated by that and intimidated by just the word meditation. I had never meditated before. Um, but, we, right. but we have to think about the fact that, you know, playing basketball, we're in North Carolina, playing basketball is, a, is an outlet for a lot of people and it's something that a lot of people enjoy and they practice basketball, you know, they practice and it's something that they do. Well, just because I like playing basketball doesn't mean that I'm going to be the next LeBron James or I'm going to be the next Michael Jordan. Okay, At the same time, practicing mindfulness doesn't mean that I'm going to become a Buddhist monk next month. Right. Okay, So I am not. I might not be at that, that level, but it still is an outlet for me and it's still something that I enjoy and it's still something that provides a benefit in my life. Good and deal. it's a practice. You hear right. us always saying it's a practice. It's a practice. You, Good deal. You get better at it. Um, so, you know, he mentioned the apps Headspace. That's what both him and I use to learn mindfulness. It has a monthly fee. Uh, I pay for Calm now, it's cheaper. Uh, the Navy SEALs have a really easy breathing technique. Um, they call it the box breathing, mm -hmm. where they breathe in for four seconds, hold for four, breathe out for four, hold for four. And doing that, your breaths are um, 16 seconds long. So they're, you know, it's less than four breaths a minute. Uh, and the Navy SEALs use it because it actually activates the parasympathetic nervous system. So in stress, uh, when you go into fight or flight, your ability to rationalize goes offline. Right. But if you can activate that parasympathetic nervous system, you can kind of keep that prefrontal cortex online and you can have that rational mind. So they have that just simple, you know, box breathing, four in, four hold, four out, four hold. Something that we did with the peer support team is we purchased uh, an account with ROMWAD, uh, which ROMWAD stands for Range of Motion Workout of the Day. 
Mm. Uh, it was $250 for the team, but I was able to give access to every member on the team. And uh, Realm Wad, I think, is really important, uh, especially for firefighters, because it does two things. Um, it focuses on stretching while breathing. Uh, and it's, you know, each day it's about a 15 to 20 minute um, stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, and it hits all of the main um, muscle groups and areas that we are prone to injure. It hits shoulders, knees, ankles, um, lower back. Uh, so that's, I think, uh, that's what I use now is the Romwad. And I, I kind of wanted to mention it because uh, I think it'd be neat for a lot of other fire departments to like, be able to have this access for their members or to purchase this access. Good deal. But if finances are an issue, yeah. YouTube has free. You can just type in um, mindfulness. Um, there's an app called Insight Timer, which is free, and mm -hmm. they can you know kind of help you get going. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing information on mindfulness with us and those coping and preventative measures and methods is really informative.